What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel, man. Today we are in tune for another very interesting topic of conversation, okay? Now, I was literally just scrolling through my DMs and I came across this video right here. Now, the content of this video was so interesting that it actually inspired me to make an entire video about it. You guys know that on this channel, we expose celebrities almost every single day, and I've been doing that for the past couple of months. And our next victim <laughs> is Chris Brown, man. Look, I don't know why I haven't made a video about Chris Brown in the past. Honestly speaking, I don't listen to too much of his music, and I don't really follow him the way a lot of people follow him, so I'm not really too sure what type of shit he's into, realistically speaking. But as always... Chris Brown is a legendary person in the industry, so we know that there has to be some type of Illuminati secret society ties to his name. So today we're going to be discovering that. First and foremost, I got this video right here that I want to watch. Now, I already told you guys, most of the time, these celebrities pledge their alliance to either the devil, their their uh, handlers, or, or whatever agenda they're a part of in their lyrics or in their music videos. Now, this video right here literally speaks for itself. I really don't even have to say anything, but I want you to pay attention to what he says in this video. He said, I met with the devil last week. I can't believe what he said to me. Take this contract signature, please. <laughs> you can have it all, but your soul, I'm going to keep, bro. Like, what? I'm going to have to turn off the, the audio because that's copyright. But I want y'all to read this. I'm going to play it again. I want y'all to read this and literally read what he's saying. He says, had a meeting with the devil last week. Couldn't believe what he said to me. Here, take this contract. Signature, please. You can have it all, but you know your soul. I'm going to keep. Bad luck. Bad luck. You know it comes in threes. Battling my demons. I'm the only one who sees. I got this fire thing burning all the weed. I bet hell ain't hotter than this Hennessy. Bro, this right here literally reminds me of the song that Future and Kodak Black made together called Voodoo. If you guys go listen to literally the chorus of that song, Kodak Black is describing an entire night that he had with the devil. Now, he literally says in his song the type of way that he was enticed by the devil and what he gained from it. You can literally look it up. I made an entire video about it on in the past. You can literally listen to the song. The lyrics itself is like... It's unquestionable, bro. There have been so many celebrities that have literally said in their songs that they sold their soul. Now, doing a little bit deeper digging, I looked up literally Chris Brown Illuminati. And when I looked up Chris Brown Illuminati, it brought me to some images of his tattoos. And I didn't realize that, the, that he had these tattoos. First and foremost, this big ass tattoo on his back is literally the all-seeing eye pyramid with the eye in the middle. Very, very self-explanatory. If you guys have been watching my videos in the past, you guys know exactly what this means. But this is what I find truly interesting. He has this serpent tattoo. And I tell you guys all of the time that most of the time in music videos or even in the biblical description, the serpent re represents um, the devil, Lucifer. So he literally has a tattoo of a serpent. What I really want to focus on is this another all-seeing eye at the end of his tail. So it's a serpent, which is representative of the devil, with the all-seeing eye at the end of his tail. So that's already two tattoos um, of the eye alone. And then I also remembered Chris Brown has an entire clothing line called Black Pyramid. Now, I really don't know what his obsession is with these pyramid-like figures and shapes and all-seeing eye type shapes, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory, bro. The same way that Jay-Z claims Rock Nation, and this is his logo, is the same way that Chris Brown is claiming Black Pyramid to be his brand with these tattoos and all this... Come on, bro. I feel like it's very, very self-explanatory at this point. We've watched so many videos on exposing these different celebrities on the type of shit that they partake in. Now, we have this video right here of Orlando Brown exposing Chris Brown. Someone sent this link to my DM and said that he exposed him in this video. So, we're about to hop into it. Uh, I, have, I haven't even watched this video, honestly speaking. So, I don't know what, it's gonna, what he's really going to say. This is our first time watching this together. But, let's get into it, bro. Chris Brown's album. Well, he made headlines again when some pictures came out. That fans took with him, and it was revealed that they paid a thousand dollars for a meet and greet with Chris Brown. <laughs> some people were surprised at this, and there was some debate as to you know whether. And the crazy part about it is, like, there are literally people in this world who who like who fan, like like who idolize these people, these celebrities, <laughs> not knowing what they truly support, obviously. That they're willing to pay a thousand dollars for a picture with this man, bro. But let's continue. That people felt it was worth it, or 
you know, is, is that a little Chris too Brown. much? He's the real Chris Brown. He's not allowed to get on stage. So that's the only way he can make his money. Hmm? So you feel like that was like a lookalike that did that? Do I feel like it was a lookalike <laughs> in Chris Brown's body? <laughs> Okay. No. It's, Chris Brown is not that. It's just the same. It's the same thing with Kanye, bro. Chris, Chris Brown. Nigga, that was not Chris Brown on stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. it's, it's not Chris Brown on stage, bro. That's not Chris. So that wasn't Chris that did that? Hell no, that wasn't Chris. Dude. No, that wasn't Chris that was on stage. Chris Brown is the one that's, the, the, he getting paid, nigga, the way, any way he can to see if it's going, if it's going to go over. And it's going over well. Don't nobody know the difference. <laughs> Don't nobody know can't tell the difference, but I know the difference. Yeah, like, he's not allowed to get on stage. What? He's allowed to be Chris Brown, but not on stage. Now he'll be allowed to get on stage. Y'all want to fuck with show too. Saying as a clone, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Saying he is a clone, basically. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be the real him this time. <laughs> Now, one thing I, I one thing I've always found interesting is like there's a there's a theory that um, individuals like Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, um, Tupac, Biggie, all of these major names who passed away, the theory is that they didn't die; their clone died. You know what I'm saying their clone died, and they're living somewhere in an island doing whatever they want. Same thing, the same theory that went with Epstein. Epstein was the individual who was bringing all of these celebrities and prime ministers and presidents to this very deserted island so that they could groom kids and, and, and you know, 14, 15, 16 year old girls and stuff like that. Very, very weird behavior, but as soon as he got caught and went to jail for it, all of a sudden he died. And people are saying that based on the autopsy, he didn't kill himself. It's, it, w it was a fabricated suicide and He's living somewhere else. But crazy continue. things you've had with fans. Um, let me go back to that. I'm sorry. Didn't he say he wasn't he hasn't performed in a long time? Did you not hear that? When he said he I was, didn't hear that. Yeah, Chris said I haven't they they're not allowed they haven't allowed me to put they haven't put they haven't allowed me to perform in how many years? He said he, I don't know, but he said they haven't allowed him to perform. Yeah. What it hasn't been him performing. Mm. He said out his own mouth. I haven't been allowed to perform for a long time. For I think it was three years or some some something, something like that. But he said it out of his own mouth. So yeah, they do the research. It's there. And he does a lot of performing. I mean, he's a really great performer. I mean, I mean, he's the real Chris Brown. You know. I would I would think that, you know, he would he would do his shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, go back to 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 uh, Bro, the song he did with with little with Lil Wayne. You know, he he was little. He didn't fit the clothes. He didn't even fit the fucking hat. You feel me? It, it's no way that a nigga gonna turn seven foot seven in about two years. <laughs> it's, you can't, you know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna happen. So, uh, you know, it's just not. And, 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 but, you know, this is what happens, you know, like I said earlier, you know, um, in the last one, you get in trouble. What did he do? He beat up Rihanna. You know, and, and what happened was you had to keep that. How do you keep that, bro? You know, um, give it to somebody that can keep it going. So Joseph kept him going. Why? Hey, Aaron, Joseph kept him going. Why? <laughs> it was all right. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, um, like I said, man, everything is back to normal. You mentioned Lil Wayne. <laughs> so you feel like Lil Wayne has grown a lot since his younger years. And that he think, shouldn't have. I think Whoopi Goldberg loved Lil Wayne and was like, fuck it, I just want to be Lil Wayne. And then turned into Lil Wayne and then Lil Wayne was like, well, damn, I, who am I now? And then, <laughs> Didn't this nigga do like crack or something like that? He still talks like he's hot, bro. I can't even lie to you. I don't understand where he's taking this conversation. He's talking about like 17 different things right now. I'm not going to lie. But as for Chris Brown, I really feel like there's a lot of deeper things I can cover on this topic of conversation. I just haven't really did my full research on it. If you guys want to send me any music video to react to or break down in particular, I'll be more than happy to, bro. I haven't looked at any of his music videos. I haven't looked at anything. All I've seen was this clip right here and his tattoos, honestly speaking. That struck me off guard. Made me want to come and make this video for you guys. But look, I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.